Hello everyone, welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. My save file corrupted, so I'm going to have to start over. So we're just going to start a new world. And I know that's really, really unfortunate. I think it's where I blue screened yesterday, and then all of a sudden, the data could not save in time, and it probably corrupted itself, so... Unfortunate, I have to start over. Uh, I should be getting a new PC relatively soon. So that's what I'm waiting on as of right now. So if I have any more issues, if I blue screen, I will probably just stop doing the series until I get the new computer. And then once I get the new computer, we can pick up where we left off at. But uh here we are in a new world. Once again, I apologize. It happens, you know. Sometimes devices and things, they wear out. They don't want to work properly. And therefore, ultimately, they cause issues and then they die. <laughs> so, we already know what to expect. Uh, so, got to do all this stuff again perfectly fine we can do it together i don't care whatever so let's get the eight dirt that it wants looks like we spawned in a somewhat of a desert too so that's kind of cool uh, i think this time around we'll just go cave base instead of uh trying to build a house um yeah i don't know maybe maybe later on we'll build a house once we get more resources or something because honestly, I didn't really like where I was at because um, it was kind of in a crappy area, really. And I would rather build in an area that's more flat, I guess. Maybe an area that has a mountain or something. And then maybe we can just dig inside of the mountain and uh, set up a base in there or something. But we'll have to find... Um, We'll have to find coal first, so that way we can make some extra torches and stuff. Because as of right now, we don't have any torches, so uh, uh, let's grab some cactus fruit, I guess, while we're here. Because <laughs> that's about the only food source that I see. Uh, we'll definitely look for coal veins and such. If we can find any, that would be really, really nice. But yeah, I'm really, really sad that, you know... My saved data had to corrupt, and now we gotta completely start over with nothing again. Just starting with nothing in this pack is, uh, it's pretty devastating because this is a grindy pack. But it is what it is. All right, here's our growl that we need, so that's cool. Sometimes it doesn't even spawn gravel in. <laughs> Because there was a couple times where I'd made a few new worlds before I started recording this. And, uh, like, I couldn't get any gravel to spawn in. And, of course, I would do, you know, all the talking and everything and, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, it wants me to get some wood as well. I don't think it matters what type of wood, I don't think. Does it? Yeah, it says it says oak wood, so maybe it does matter. I don't know. Well, that's quite a drop, isn't it? Well, I want to get some more of this gravel at least, because we need a bunch of it. Because we got to have a bunch of gravel to make the flint tools and junk and all that crap. So, yeah, this sucks starting over, but I'm not mad. Just a little bit uh, disappointed because we have to start over, but it's whatever. Get a little bit more gravel here. There we go. Okay, that's got that is finished. Now we'll make ourselves some flint. So it wants me to get some oak. I don't know why it keeps giving me all these flowers. We don't really need that. I guess we'll keep the cactus because we might need that later on. I believe you can take cactus and you can put it in the uh, Coke oven. You can make like cactus cold Coke or something like that. So 
Yeah, that's a thing. Wild carrots. I don't think I've ever seen wild carrots on here before. But anyway, let's go ahead and left click some of these gardens. That will be kind of nice. But nevertheless, I need to hurry up. And we got to get uh got to get some oak wood, then we got to kill some sheep and I want to quickly get a bed before nighttime. Cuz I don't want to be stuck out in the middle of the night. Cuz we will die miserably. I don't even see any oak trees around here though. That's the bad thing. That's a gin ginormous tree right there that we could really use for fuel and stuff. So that would be kind of nice. So, um, so it's, it's, it's been a funny day. So I ordered a apex computer last night and, uh, then I got to looking earlier and there was an alienware that was a little bit cheaper than the apex, but I had already ordered the apex and then the guy calls and then I tell them that I want to cancel and then they give some bullshit sob story about they've already bought the parts and everything. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just go ahead and go through with getting the Apex computer. So just going to go ahead and uh, go through with that. So, I mean, whatever. I understand companies are just trying to sell their stuff. Because, I mean, honestly, that Alienware that I was looking at, it had way better stuff and it costed way less. But the thing is, I've always had an Alienware. That's 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 the only types of computers that I've ever gotten. It's is Alienware's. Like the very first Alienware that I ever had, I still have it. Is a Aurora R4 or something like that. And then this one I have now that's been doing the blue screening is a Threadripper. It's an R7, I believe. So definitely have some pretty outdated computers i do uh the first one is a windows 7 and then of course this other one is windows 10. i guess the apex computer will probably come with windows 11 or whatever so i guess in a sense i'm kind of looking forward to that a little bit uh, let me go ahead and detect submit that least we'll have a torch in case we don't get our bed up in time which it's probably looking like i'm not going to get the bed up in time but it is what it is uh there are sheep so let's go ahead and get the crafting table we'll probably have to make the crafting table again but it is what it is and let's go ahead and turn all this into sticks because i need to make some tools Get herself an axe. Man, this just sucks having to start over like this. I do apologize, guys. I I feel really bad about it. I really do. And uh, just sadness that we got to do all this over again. I mean, I don't really know what else that I can say besides, you know, here we are again starting over. I just hope this time around it doesn't corrupt. And I, I did some updates last night on my PC as well. Um, there was a couple NVIDIA updates and some other updates that I ran. So maybe that'll fix the blue screen problem. But I'm not at all for sure. I also went to Dell's website because that's where I bought my PC at. It was uh, from Dell Alienware or whatever. So I did a scan and... Uh, it said there was a couple things hardware wise that I should have had critically for my computer. So I downloaded those things in hopes that, you know, maybe that'll resolve the issue. But um, like I said, I highly doubt it, but I'm, I have hopes, you know, because I mean, this computer is not very old. It's only like seven or eight years old. So, uh, Hopefully, maybe the issues will stop, or maybe maybe it's this mod pack. You never know, because, like, I can play games like League of Legends and other games, and I never have any issues. But, but the blue screen thing can happen randomly. Like, 
I could have my desktop up and not even have a game running, and sometimes it would blue screen, so... That tells me that it's not this mod pack. But you just never know. Or maybe there's something that's... Maybe it's overheating, I don't know, because my computer does have two overclock settings. But then again, like I said, I just don't know. I don't really know. Anyway, we need a couple more sheep here. That way we can get our wool that we need, so that way we can, you know, we can make ourselves a bed. Because we're kind of kind of rushing through here, if you know what I'm saying. Wow, look at that over there. That's actually nice looking mesa. Or it looks like a mesa, at least. Man, that's phenomenal looking. I like the way that's that's actually shaped in a way that we could actually build a base up in that, man. But we're going to have to hurry, obviously, because it's starting to get nighttime. So I'll probably do a jump cut right here. So that way you guys don't have to be boring. You don't have to be bored watching me sit through nighttime doing absolutely nothing. But we might be able to get ourselves a bed so i might not have to cut here i don't know let me get uh i don't think we have enough wood trying to get enough wood yeah we can build a base up in here this is phenomenal looking man like wow yeah we're gonna build a base in here most definitely yeah this is like really 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 nice of a find um so yeah we'll uh we'll start ourselves a little bit of a base in here guys i think this will be pretty cool because you don't find something that looks like this every day so yeah i i definitely like this um we won't be able to dig a whole lot because obviously we don't have torches available so just let me just dig out a little bit of a room here where we can just kind of, uh, oh gosh, where we can just kind of hide out here for right now. Um, all right. I really need my torch, but there's like zombies right outside and now I can't really, can't really do anything about that. So that's okay. Ah, uh, let me get my hunger up here. Nothing like some raw mutton, right? <laughs> Alright, we got some steak as well. Are these guys killing the cows and stuff? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, so I don't think I have enough wood, but we'll find out. So, we need this. And let's check up bed here. Right, we need that. So this, this will make our soft mallet. Yeah, I don't believe we have enough here. I think we gotta have, yeah, we gotta have two fences. That's one. Yeah, we don't have enough wood. Darn it. Crap. Oh, crap. He's coming after me, too. I see if I can fight this guy. I don't know, man. Oh, there's crazy infernals coming at me, though. I don't know. Maybe we can... <laughs> maybe we can fight these guys off somehow. Oh! That scared me a little bit. Ow. Got Monster Hunter. Ah, shoot. Hold on a second here. Let me try to get that torch further out there if we can here. Ah. Uh, where is the zombie eye? So he's like over there, sort of. Gotta be ready here. Yes, give me the wood. 
and we're risking it all. <laughs> oh. You're a giant zombo. I don't think you're much of a threat. You're just a giant zombie. Okay. Some more wood here. We're almost getting enough here. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got now. Okay. Um... There we go. Is that everything? Okay, now we need three more planks. Shoot. So scared. I see a zombie charging at me, though. Pretty quick. Oh, he's real fast. Plague zombie. Well, I appreciate that you're trying to get ahead. <laughs> or give me a head. Oh, that sounded wrong. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Not trying to be a pervo or anything like that. but uh, Let's try to get further here. Oh, that's... That's berry bushes. Oh, let's risk it, guys. Let's risk it. Here we go. Get this log and get the heck out of here. Run. All right, I think we're going to get it. <laughs> we're actually going to get it, guys. Okay. All right. Wait, what? Oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. There's our bed. <laughs> All right, we did it. Hey, we did it. Go to sleep. All right. I knew we could do it. I knew I had the fortitude to get it done. <laughs> All right now, kind of uh, look around here and uh, see if it's safe. Maybe I don't know. I would rather you just not come over here, dudes. <laughs> All right. I think we're good. We're okay. Okay, so we survived the night at least and got ourselves a bed. But what I want to do now is I would like to kind of dig a staircase down, like down into this place. So let's go ahead and uh, put this back. Uh, let's not start there. Let's start like... We'll start here. And then obviously, like I said, we'll have to go get some coal. So we'll just go find a coal vein. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Let me get this guy. I want you there. We'll put the bed here. Obviously, we can't, um, we can't get a door just yet until we complete a quest. But once we complete a quest, we'll have our door... Man, this structure, though, wow, or this, whatever you want to call it, this mountain is really, really, really cool. I like it a lot. I kind of wonder what's above it, like what's up top side. So I might go check that out. So I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Excuse me. <laughs> Man. Okay, anyway, let me get uh, let me get some more wood. We need a lot of wood. All right. So, so this is an ore chunk right here where I'm at. Um, I'm not sure where I want to. Hold on one second. Let me run back over here real quick. So... Like I said, our base is going to be over here. We're going to go downstairs and we're going to build underground. So. Also, this biome does not have precipitation, which is not good. We'll go up this way. 
And, uh... Okay, I need to be, like, over here, I think. Wait, what did that say? You are at the center of the chunk. Oh, I didn't know that it would tell you that you're at the center of the chunk. That's interesting. Huh. Or maybe I just never paid attention to that or something. Well, we're trying to find the, uh, I'm trying to find the ore chunk. Okay, maybe it's over here. Okay, here's the ore chunk. Okay. This is the center right here. Let me get some food real quick, though, before we starve to death. So at least we kind of have our bearings about ourselves now. We can't eat no more of that. I've got a couple sandwiches sitting here waiting for me to eat. So <laughs> we'll check this uh, ore vein out and see what we have. And then I'll probably do a jump cut so I can eat my lunch. And uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig straight down like a moron. Because I'm just curious what this is going to be. Man, that's kind of rough. Don't tell me there's all basalt down here in the way. Okay, just a... Uh, oh, man, I, I can't mine that either. Well, this one's going to be... <laughs> this one's going to be a little bit of a headache, I think. Oh, my gosh, there's basalt everywhere. What's that? That's coal. Or this might be a coal vein. That would be awesome. Uh, shoot. Yeah, this is going to be hard to do. I'm not... Okay. I'm not going to be able to do this one because I can't mine basalt. And we got to have... We got to have the light to be able to see. So... Yeah, let me fill this back and This is not going to work out. Well, actually, let's just... Okay. We'll just mine this with our hand. I mean, it is what it is. I know this is going to take a long time and you guys are going to start yelling at me. <laughs> oh, that's taking a long time, isn't it? faster with the block in my hand that seems faster with holding a block doesn't it <laughs> well it's officially 1 50 p.m. daytime so we might not actually be able to do this in time I didn't bring my bed with me either at all so and how much stupid basalt is down here jeez Trying to hurry up and do this. Once it hits about 5 p.m., we'll have to get out of here. Well, I guess I'll hold down left click and eat my sandwich. You know, you guys really made my day yesterday, though, with all the comments and all the feedback that you guys are giving for this Greg Tech stuff. I really appreciate that a lot. It means a lot to me, everybody, that uh, 
everyone that is subscribed to the channel, you guys mean the world to me. And like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you, all the comments and everything that you guys make. Because you guys don't have to comment, but you choose to. And you make an effort to make my day better. Puts a smile on my face each and every time I see feedback from you guys. Because there for a while, a couple years ago, I was in a dark place in my life. And uh, you guys have really, really made me see brighter days. And uh, thank you so much. I know I'm not a big channel. And I don't, I don't need to be. The only thing I need to do is just have fun and make videos. And not even worry, you know, how many subscribers or how much money I've made. I, I, don't, I don't need to worry about this stuff. <clears throat> the only thing I do need to worry about right now is this basalt because it's too much. It's in my way. Okay, I need to get... Uh, I need to grab this dirt or I'm never going to be able to get out of here. And we're going to have to... Uh, we're gonna have to climb out for right now and then climb back down because we're running out of time. All right, let's see. All right, let me climb back up and then go to sleep. And I'll go ahead and do a jump cut right here. Go ahead and dig that up like that so we know where it's at. Uh, let's do, let's label that as here. And uh, we'll come back to it once we get some sleep. And I'll be back. I'll do a jump cut right here for you guys. All right, guys. It is almost officially daytime. So this is actually indeed a coal vein. My goodness. There was so much basalt. And I had to hand punch at least 30 or 40 blocks of basalt just to get down here. So, uh. Anyway, it's almost daytime. It's about 4.30 a.m. Um, as you can see, it's pure pitch black, but in front of me there is coal ore. And if we pull up our map and open up the GT ore veins, as you guys can see, it is a coal, lignite coal vein. So that is fantastic. We're going to be spending some time in here... Uh, Hopefully getting ourselves a bunch of coal. Now I can finally uh, finally see in here just a little bit here. So we got some lignite there. Got some coal ore here. Got some more coal here. Some of this stuff is basalt. So we might have to, you know, kind of punch through it again with our fist, unfortunately. But... Uh, the whole point of getting coal now is so that way we can make torches. So that way, you know, we can get our cave base up and running. And it seems like there's a bunch of coal ore in here. So it's really, really, really nice that we're getting all this. Oh, 15 is probably enough. I don't really need to uh, spend that much more time in here, to be honest. Um, but at least we know where to go to actually get some coal now, which is fantastic. Because that's actually what I was hoping for. That's kind of what happened in the last world. We actually got pretty lucky and uh, we found coal pretty much right away. So uh, pretty ecstatic about that. Uh, let's go ahead and remove that. And we'll just write this as coal. So that way we know right where to go to get to that, to mine out our coal. Now the next thing we need to do is get some cobblestone. And I know I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit and we're not even really following the quest line, which is, it's okay. Because eventually I will come back and do all the stuff within the quest line. Oh, uh, there is cobblestone, obviously stone here, but I don't really want to mess with bothering that. 
because I want this structure or mountain or whatever just to remain intact. I just want it to look natural like it looks. So I'm not going to mine the stone out of that. Um, well, what we could do is we could head back up here to the base and start digging down. So that way we can start digging out some space so that we can, uh, you know, start getting some chest and some storage down there and everything like that. So yeah, I think that's probably a good idea and that's what I will do for the time being. Let's go ahead and grab this torch and I'm going to turn F7 on and I'm also going to turn F9 on. So that way we can kind of see the, uh, the chunk borders here. So what I want to do is I'm not going to dig. I'm not going to start here. Because I want to make sure that we're in the center of the chunk border, basically. Uh, let me get some of this food. Uh, oh, they're, they're dying on the cactus. That's funny. <laughs> That's almost just a little bit too much of a goofy move by the animals to die on that. Yeah, we need, uh, we need food really badly. Okay, these, I didn't even know these white mushrooms counted as food. That's cool, I guess. See how many of these it'll let me munch on. Now let's go ahead and munch on, uh, some of these blueberries, I guess now. Yeah, they're pretty fast, aren't they? Uh, let's kill this cow. I do want to save some cows. Because I know for a fact that uh, we have to do the one quest where we have to kill six cows. So, uh, try to get all this try to get all this food eaten up if we can here. It's not really letting me let me have my choice here, is it? Uh, I got some rotten flesh. I guess we can munch on too. Not that I really want to, but uh, better than nothing, I suppose. I I don't really understand the point of uh, of this mod, really. Okay, where's the center? Okay, here's the center of the chunk. So. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll start here, and then we'll start. Uh, we'll make ourselves a little door. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm kind of debating on this though because like, so let's mark this as the center with the gray wool. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dig in here. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering though, like this this biome doesn't have precipitation. We want to have rain, obviously. Okay, so here's how this is gonna go. So we're gonna have uh we're gonna have our door right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna come back here a little bit of ways. Like so. And we're going to dig ourselves a three by three. Okay. So we'll have our door. Uh, what am I doing? Not what I want to put there. I want to put the, some of this here. So we'll have this here. So this will be where our door is. Let me get up here and... Uh, I don't want to make that look like it's even. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So, anyway, um, we're going to dig this out, obviously. So, let me get to digging, and uh, I guess I'll come back once I get a little room dug out. All right, guys, I'm back. As you guys can see, I've dug out a little bit of this. Uh, my pickaxe broke, so 
now what I want to do is I want to go find some gravel because I want to make myself a furnace and I also want to start chopping down some trees so that way we can get a fuel source so that way we can start cooking up some of this coal ore and so that way we can start making some torches so we'll do this on camera we'll go ahead and get some gravel here and uh let me go ahead and hit f7 and turn that off now since we kind of got our bearings about ourselves uh the chunk borders are still on so i'm just gonna leave it on so it doesn't really matter that much what is that mud huh i didn't even know mud was actually in this because <laughs> i remember playing uh exoria and having to deal with mud so that wasn't fun either <laughs> All those mud balls and all that crap. Like, nah, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I don't want to play in the mud. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I would like to go back to that mod pack at some point, but man, I don't know. Just some of, some of the stuff in Exoria, I just, I didn't like. It was so grindy and, uh, still a fun mod pack, but, uh, I don't know. You play it so much and you just... You don't even want to go back to it. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so, anyway, I got to obviously run back over here so I can go to sleep so we don't get killed by, uh, you know, zombies and everything. So, let me go to sleep and then we'll come back out and we'll start chopping down some trees. Uh-oh. Where is my entrance at here? Oh, no. Okay, here we go. I couldn't find my way there for a second. There we go. And we are starving to death. So that's never good. Well, let's try to get some more of this food eaten up here. It's kind of annoying. That is what it is. Having to constantly eat food's just crazy. But in a way, I kind of like it. So oh, we do got all these different types of gardens and stuff. Uh, let's clear out some room here. Because obviously I'm going to have to get a bucket up. Let's just go ahead and place these guys here for right now. They could potentially spread and make more, but uh, I'm not too worried if they do or if they don't. just want to try to clean my inventory out here for uh, just briefly. Oh, God. Try to stay away from that guy because he is an infernal mob and we don't want to deal with that, do we? Try to turn this into a to a little bit of a uh, little bit of a tree farm over here if we can. There we go. It's already looking like home to me. <laughs> like I said, we just need some wood and some other stuff, so uh Go ahead and do that. We'll get all these tiny, I guess you would call them bushes. We'll get all these guys cut down. And we'll clear out some more space here. Put some dirt, because we have a pretty good amount of dirt on us, so. Well, I thought I did. Apparently, I used it all to get out of that coal hole that we was in, so. But it's okay. Still plenty of dirt around here that we can use to our advantage. And eventually, I'll probably turn most of this into dirt because we'll grow crops outside. What was that? I heard some random noise. Kind of scared me. I hear something, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know. I hear scary noises, guys. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, let me get some more flint here. Um, some more wood. Where's the flint? Oh, okay, that's that quest done now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, once we make a crafting table, if I pick up my... Uh, where am I at here? Okay, that's throwing me off. Hold on one second. Let me... Uh, I know we're using sand to do this, but what, let me fill this in. It's, that's throwing me off of where I'm actually at here. Okay. Getting, getting lost in my own 
getting lost in my own area, guys. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, okay. Need lots of wood. Okay. There we go. So yeah, this is a hot plains biome. I don't even know. Uh, will our crops even grow here? There's no precipitation. Uh, hopefully they will, I guess. I, I don't know. But anyway, what I want to do is I want to go over here to where these big old huge trees are. As you guys can see. And I want to, uh, yeah, I'll probably use some red sand and we'll climb up to the top. And we'll just, uh, cut down one of these big old suckers, big old giants. I think they're fir trees, I think it looks like it. Yeah, fir. Fir wood, fear wood, whatever you want to call it. Man, that's kind of... Look at that. Dead wood, that looks cool. <laughs> ah, well, we could just... Yeah, I think I'll just, uh... Yeah, we'll make a trip up here with the sand. And there, we just lost a log down there, but that's okay. Trying to get up here relatively high so I can uh, try to mine out as much of this as I can with what we do have. So, yeah. Wow, these trees are daggone high up, aren't they? My goodness. Already got a sapling, it looks like. My goodness, how high does this thing go? <laughs> wow, this is incredibly high up. Still going, isn't it? All right, let's use uh, use as much of this as we can to get all the way up here. Okay, here we go. So now we're at the top. Man, what a tree! My goodness. Well, hopefully maybe I can uh, somehow jump in the water or something if, I, if I'm if i too high up and my pickaxe breaks. This is nice. This is going to be like a big time amount of wood here. So we're going to mine this whole thing out together, I guess. I don't have anything better to do. I also like the great wood trees as well. Those are pretty cool. They're not as tall as these fir, fir, wood, fir wood trees. Man, I can't even pronounce this crap. <laughs> but uh, I definitely like those. Um, we'll probably grow some spruce trees or something. I don't know. Some 4 by 4s of those. But probably not until we get at least an excavator. But that's going to be a while before we even think about getting that. But hopefully we can uh, get enough here. This will be for fuel and some stuff. So we should be good to go after I harvest all these logs. We almost got a stack already, which is phenomenal. But we are starving to death, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. I don't think I have any more food on me. We do not, so that's kind of an issue, I guess. Yeah, I'm just curious why the mod pack author decided that he wanted to add the nutrition. I mean, like I said, I like it because it's challenging, but uh, I don't know. At the same time, it can be a real pain in the ass, you know, because it's really tedious. So I don't know, man. It's a little bit bizarre to me, but uh, we'll take it either way. Now we're about to run out of our axe here. There it goes. Okay, I don't think we're... Yeah, we can drop. Oh, that hurt, but we're okay. So we got some fur saplings. We can just plant these, I guess. Uh, I don't know if these are 4 by 4s or if they're just one. I don't know. I'm not particularly too familiar with... Uh, the growth length of these trees. So anyways, we got what we wanted. Now we can head back up here. 
we have cobblestone, we have flint, we can make a furnace, and we can start smelting down some of this coal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a jump cut here, just to uh, just to make sure that I want to be able to get this video out just in case my computer decides that it wants to blue screen. So I'm going to jump cut here Then I'm wanting to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the game and I don't, then I'm going to come back cause I want to make sure that it saves. So I'll be back here in just a moment and then we'll have a furnace up and then I'll probably dig out some more of the base and then we'll come back and then maybe we'll do some questing and maybe some ore prospecting or something and see what we can find. All right, guys, I am back briefly. Um, so I've planted some crops out here. We got some carrots and we got some various Pam's harvest crops out here growing. Uh, we got ourselves a blueberry bush that was already here. It's growing. Uh, we're starving to death right now because I can't eat any more of the uh, blueberries because obviously I've eaten already enough of them. So... <laughs> We're just kind of crawling around here like a turtle and uh, trying to get get ourselves some more food here. Uh, there are some sheep over here that I can go ahead and kill, I guess. I don't really want to kill all the livestock out here, but uh, good thing for me, he did indeed drop some mutton. Which I can't really eat too much of that either, so... <laughs> Kind of in a pickle here. Let's do some of the quest. I went ahead and got the apple sapling and I went through this and did a little bit more stuff here. Um, let's go ahead and get the orange sapling. That'll give us a couple coins as well. Uh, let's turn these guys in because this will give me uh this will give me food that I desperately need. So uh go ahead and claim all these things here. We get berries for that one. Then we get some apple juice for this one. And we get a coin for this one. No food. A book and quill. And we get a delicious cookie for that one. Now I can quickly just claim these all up real quick here. Now let's go ahead and claim this, even though we don't really need the quest book or anything like that. Um, so far so good guys. I haven't crashed. I haven't had any blue screens, but I don't know, you know, there's no set time limit on when that could happen or when it happens. So still hopeful that maybe, like I said, the updates that I did last night may have helped prevent that from happening, but, uh, you just never know. Oh, we'll go ahead and plant this guy here with the apple one. Um, I'm making sure that I stay in chunk borders here. Because I have a farm here, which we'll probably do all the Pam stuff in. And then I'll probably make another small farm maybe here and then maybe over here in the corner. We'll just have a bunch of farms in this chunk just to grow crops and food until we actually get uh, some better food that we can actually eat. So I think that's a pretty good idea. And as far as that goes, we're just moving right along here. Obviously it wants me to get more wool and everything since I kind of skipped ahead. Uh, it wants 64 cobblestone. I think we might have that. Okay, not quite. But uh, almost. And I did make a couple more chests, so that way we can store our store our stuff. I made some more. I made some buckets here as well. Um. So yeah, life is becoming better. So anyway, um, we're trying to unlock Tier Zero, the Stone Age. So we still got to go through this quest line a little bit more. Um, I want to get this done as well. I want to get the carrots so we can get the potatoes, but the vanilla crops, they grow so slow. It's crazy. Um, I want to get this done. I don't think I have the wood now, but, uh, let's go ahead and we'll make another. 
Let's make a couple more pickaxes here. And I'll probably just go cut down some more trees and some things along the way. Um, I'm trying to progress relatively far today because I want to get to the Coke oven and I want to get to the Tinker stuff. God forbid that my PC has problems, so we just never know what's going to happen. But uh, like I've said, so far, so good. Everything seems to be in order. Everything is running properly. Like, you can even see our FPS up there. We're running at 250 because I think 255 is the cap for the FPS. So everything is running smoothly, so... Yeah, that is a thing. Um, well, I'm going to go cut down some more trees and uh, gather up some more materials, probably gather up some more cobblestone so we can start knocking out these quests. So, guys, I just figured something out. As you guys can see, all the information in the top left is actually larger than what it was. So in order to do that, I did some research. You can type slash IGI config, and then that'll open up a menu and you'll see alignment and you'll see general. And if you scroll down to where it says scale new, you can change that to about 10 or you can change it to whatever you want to. It goes all the way up to 20. I have mine set at about 10 or maybe I'll set it to about nine. And as you can see in the top left, it's a lot larger than what it normally was, which makes that a whole hell of a lot easier to read, that I will say. So uh, that's a nice little thing that I just learned how to fix. So I think maybe in the future, maybe the mod pack author should probably set that to maybe, maybe a higher resolution because it was pretty dang small. But then again... Me personally, I'm playing on a 1440p monitor, so of course everything is going to look a little bit smaller than what it normally would, but I still run my monitor in 1080p, so shouldn't make that much more of a difference really, but uh, I'm just cleaning base out a little bit here, trying to make some more space. I've got some dirt going down through here. Um, we're going to make this chunk uh, into the bush chunk, I guess we're going to call it, because we're going to have like all the different types of blackberries and raspberries and uh, ore berries and all that stuff in this chunk. So I think that's going to be a nice addition to the base. So I guess I'm going to start here and uh, we're going to place some of these down. Let me get a couple torches around this area. I'll probably end up moving the torches, but... Uh, other than that, I'm just trying to take my time. I am saving and quitting a lot just to ensure that if something does happen, we can still get our save to work. And I am also backing up my saves. As you guys can see, this has an automatic thing to where it backs up your saves about every 30 minutes. Uh, you can probably change that in the configuration, I would imagine. So... Yeah, that is a thing. Um, so let's go ahead and put about four more of these down here. We don't really need a whole lot of these different types of things because it's not really the greatest food source. Um, but as you guys can see, I still have my other crops here. They're growing nicely. We're still in danger of starving to death because we don't really have... As much food as I would like, as you guys can see, I made a crap ton of more shovels and pickaxes and things because I really want to spend a lot more time farming resources than I did in the last uh, in the last couple videos. So hopefully that's understandable. I'm going to have to make some more storage. So we'll definitely do that. I'm definitely going to expand this room out. Uh, at some point, I'm just kind of waiting around until I get more resources. Um, as far as the quest line goes, I'm still, you know, trying to get through this. And obviously, like I said in the last clip, we're trying to get to the Stone Age, but we just haven't got there yet. Um, I'll probably just run around and we'll get the cobblestone, we'll kill the sheep, and uh, yeah, that's what we got to do. Um, 
I know this episode's probably going to run a little bit lengthy, so I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and end the episode out here for today. And by the time I start the next episode, I'm going to make sure that I have all the stuff that I had in the previous episode. So that way we can actually continue the pack without having to, uh, you know, talk over stuff that I've already done. So hopefully you guys understand, you know, stuff happens, you know, sometimes, like I said, computers mess up and everything like that. But, uh, all right, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, you know, if you got any suggestions. If you want me to try something different, just leave, leave some comments. Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And again, sorry that we had this issue of crashing and everything like that. So um, see you next time.